Hey guys, it's Dr. John here, and I know it's way late in the game, but today we're going to be trying to get through all the Minecraft Story Mod episodes. Original Jesse. Alright, I'm right into this. It's gonna be good. And I'm posting the second episode, so. Not now. I'd like to be. Start episode one. go this is going to be epic I've never played this before and a lot of people may think what yeah I, I, I like just got it nothing game. built can last forever uh, I, and sorry, every legend no matter how great fades with time with each passing year more and more details are lost until all I mean, that I remains like are myths half truths so I'm completely to put it blind, simply, okay? lies. Blind. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Ooh. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes. And ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel the warrior, hey, before Gabriel. whose sword all combatants tremble. Eligard the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Zoran the architect, builder of world and leader of the Order of the Stone. Woo! These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. Woo! I'm sorry, I'm just so, I'm just so hyped. That was good, that was a good intro. You know, wasted like three minutes of this recording. But when one story ends, another one begins. I remember, I remember on YouTube just listening to this over and over again. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Ten zombies, Chad. Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't zombies. have any weapons yeah. or armor. That's easy. I'll take the uh, the little tiny little zombies. <laughs> a hundred of them crawling all over you with their tiny hands. Yeah, sorry. Uh, that's all I need is like a shovel. I'm telling you, way too easy. <laughs> so I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm-hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to just leave Ruben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? Ruben. What kind of question is that? Of course he is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, People I don't know, pigs. amateurs. He's my wingman. People always want to talk to the guy with the pig. You mean talk about the guy with the pig. <laughs> like, look at the weird guy with the weird pig. How weird. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. Yeah, who cares? You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Yeah, I'm going to call 
Yeah, loser. Stupid punk. Yeah. Yeah. Times and now I'm being punished for it. You scared us half to death. Yeah, you scared Nothing me. Nothing's fun if you're not scared half to death. Scared me, Axel. <laughs> did you bring the fireworks? <laughs> of course I did. I even brought sure something Axel. for the little guy. I mean, like the nice. women. You brought Ruben a disguise? Like um, we're going to a convention. But Somebody's got to wear a costume. You eat that. He looks awesome. He looks awesome. <laughs> It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. Remember how much is that like? You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. See, now he's your wingman. Stop. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Okay. Go to our chest. Shear is definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. Y yeah, no. <laughs> One of these days, we're gonna yeah, win like, Endercon like, building competition. Like, I'm just so, and when I'm just we so do, right people now. will look at us and say, hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. They really should change the name. Yeah, yeah. I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Someday. Mm. Okay. Ruben. Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling it was coming. That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. This is so fun. Hmm, flint and steel? Not too shabby? <laughs> That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. <laughs> I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one. The special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the Warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two. According to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, a big deal, this would make up for all the losing. Not that big of a deal. Endercon will be fun either way. What? Yeah, see? Uh, hold on. Let me try that again. Mm. What? <laughs> He's right, Jesse. Incredibly. This is a huge deal. <laughs> so, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? <laughs> yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay <laughs> focused. We have a competition to win. Why did I laugh? We never That's win. Funny. And this year we've got Reuben with us. <sighs> we basically have no chance. Anything can happen. Anything can happen, Olivia. Then why have we lost nine of these in a row? You can't. No, you can't look at this as a whole. The odds are refreshed each time. Maybe no one else will show up. Now you're being realistic. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay then, so how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. 
They both have their moments. Both pretty scary. <laughs> All right, let's build the creeper. You're going with Axel's idea? Staying What's wrong Axel with my idea? Olivia. Nothing. It could be totally cool. Sorry. It is I'm cool. So sorry. Yeah. yeah. yeah I think this is the first that. time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're let's so prepared. This. We can't lose. Woo. We're not. Bring it in. Yeah. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. no. Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. A team. team. Prepare. All right, let's go, to, let's go punch some, punch some wood. Let's be boring and punch wood like we're going to one.